Ladies and gentlemen, recently I shared a prediction on Twitter and I shared it on Instagram and here on the community section. Now a lot of people thought I was joking, but I was being 100% serious. Now I'm gonna give you a quick history lesson that is going to benefit every single person out there, whether you're an investor, a trader, or you're looking for opportunities in the next couple of months, because I know the opportunities now have been shrunk, and that's exactly what we're here to do, is predict the future. How do we predict the future? We predict it based on actual solid evidence and from history and from data. As a trader, that is my job and I'm here to share it with you. And every trader needs to be a critical thinker if they're looking for opportunities, even if you're a business person. So listen up very carefully. The prediction goes like this. Donald Trump will become president in 2024's election. The Russian war will end. Bitcoin, 100,000 a pop. The stock market all time high, I will make money, you will make money. That is the prediction. Now the first two don't have to come to life, but they're more probable than impossible with the way things are going. The second two with Bitcoin making 100,000 a pop and the stock market all time high, that is guaranteed. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, let's look back at history. Every time the Feds and the ECB, the European Central Bank, and the Federal Reserve in the US, every time they fight inflation, they bring it sub-inflation. So they bring it below the number they want it to bring to, which by the way, in the Federal Reserve's case, they wanted to bring it to 2%, now we're saying at 3%. Are we really gonna get 2%? Probably not. We'll probably get 1% or 0.5%, if not zero. However, the economy itself has been stopped from growing, orchestrated by the Federal Reserve and the central banks. So in order to generate and, and restart the engines one more time, the Federal Reserves and the ECB have always adapted and they tell you they have all these tools in their pockets to fight off and, and to basically, you know, they, they control the economy. Every time Inflation has came to sub-inflation and the economy has been stopped. They reignite the fire by beginning a program called asset purchases, which is also known as quantitative easing. Quantitative easing, something China has started doing a few weeks ago because their inflation is now at zero and their economy has stopped. So in order to reignite the fire and start pumping money, because you got to understand this, a bull market doesn't happen automatically on its own. Somebody in the background is restarting the engines and you know pumping the money into the markets. And this is done by buying bonds and, and corporate bonds and, and government bonds and whatnot and, and treasury bonds. And this actually starts moving stocks to the upside. And in our case for Bitcoin, that will be the case as well. This is the case, guys. People start to have more money and as they have more money, they want to make it, you know, put it to work and they see the markets are doing good and there is opportunities and everybody gets in and things start going back to normal once again. That is the tool they speak about, quantitative easing. They do that with selling assets and buying assets. They sell assets when they want to bring the economy to a halt and, you know, bring inflation down and they start buying assets when they want to restart the economy one more time. So that is why I made this prediction, because it's guaranteed to happen. China did it in 2015, 2012 to 2015. The US Federal Reserve and the ECB done the same thing. And that's something not everybody's actually looking at. So if you're looking for opportunities, well, that's what's coming next in 2024. Um, it's up to you how you position yourself now. This is why you gotta now start learning, start positioning yourself, because when the music starts, you don't wanna come in late, right? And we always go through these periods, and every prediction nowadays, when I made that the last couple of months, guys, you know, has actually came to life. So these predictions, I'm confident in. But it's up to you to do your research as well, and I do wanna know your opinion. I'm actually gonna spend the first hour looking at the comments here on this YouTube video, so make sure to drop a comment. I wanna hear your thoughts on it. Um, but if Donald Trump becomes president, guys, then energy prices will drop again, like they did in 2015. Energy uh, prices, oil was at $50 in 2015, which is also another reason why 
quantitative easing in asset purchases began. Not just because the economy was halted and infl inflation was uh, sub-inflation, but also energy prices dropped to $50 uh, for oil. And all of these are really playing a role together. If Trump becomes president, the war with Ukraine will probably end. And if it doesn't, if none of this happens, then 100% the feds will restart the economy one more time. So that is the good news for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Position yourself now. I'll see you very soon and I appreciate you for watching. Bye.